Hey guys, it's DC here and today's vlog is brought to you by Caffeine. I wouldn't get through a day without it. Raise it off! So today I wanted to have a quick chat about uh, things I, I like and dislike in cybersecurity. Um, so I'll, I'll start with the things that I, I dislike. Number one, the, the image of cybersecurity professionals is um, robotic, uh, no personality, um, really nerdy, I guess, kind of people. And it's, it's not true. While there is a lot of those types of people in IT as a whole, I wouldn't say that cybersecurity professionals are, um, you know, super, super nerdy people. They're, they're just like everyone else doing their job uh, day in, day out. We don't wear anonymous masks to work uh, often. And uh, yeah, we don't sort of rock around with sunglasses and, and hoodies on all the time trying to hide our identity. Um, while it is good to have your own personal space and privacy, uh, I don't think it's completely necessary to block yourself off from the entire world and be a recluse. And um, a lot of people are the same way as, uh, as me, so yeah, number one, not everyone is a nerd. Number two, a lot of uh, people higher up in the chain of um, IT jobs sort of look at their IT security staff as the be all and end all of every decision, um, sort of like a tech lead. And while you can be a tech lead, you're probably not employed entirely as the technical lead for every single IT department. So, and, and they use it as sort of like a scapegoat for their um, their own personal achievements, I guess. So, um, for example, a recent project I was doing was it was a network network storage and SAM migration project. Not really security related, but there was some security aspects in it, which is what I was looking over. Now, the guy who was managing the project was doing the SAM migration himself. He was doing all of all of the LUNs and all of that stuff. Um, and moving it across to a, another solution from a, a VNX, I think it was. But anyway, point was, any any technical information that he wanted, he would he would then ask me for guidance on how to do that part of his job. And and that wasn't part of my job. My job there was to make sure the firewall rules were in place and that the security around his solution was um, adequate. So, yeah, not, it's not really fair for him to be sort of asking those questions. Um, I answered anyway because, you know, I was on a contract and you sort of have to prove yourself anyway. So, yeah. So, yeah, number two is being pushed as a, a uh, tech lead for things you're probably not actually a tech lead in. Only because someone else wants you as a scapegoat just in case something goes wrong. The third thing that I don't like about cybersecurity is, um, and this is especially in contracting, you're, you're gonna have to travel. And while I like traveling, um, when you have a partner and you tell them every three months to six months that you're gonna be in another city or another country uh, for however much time it is, they, um, they sort of need to live with that and it can be quite hard and I I think it's fairly similar to how people in um, like the army or defense force sort of operate as well like their partners are going overseas on tours or whatever and um, it's I think it's a similar sort of issue where you may be away from home and it this sort of thing has definitely affected relationships in the past um, 
So yeah, while the money is good, you, you do have to travel quite a lot, um, especially in contracting if you want to keep up, uh, keep up with the technology and, and actually get money. So um, yeah, number three, travel can be a massive issue, especially if you are tied down in any way. The fourth thing that I don't like, and it is the final thing that I don't like about cybersecurity, is um, other people in other IT departments will, um, especially as a contractor again, will really uh, clamp down on your technical ability. So they'll be asking you all sorts of random questions. And I don't know if this is like an Australian thing because I haven't actually experienced this anywhere else in the world. But um, a lot of the time they ask you just really random questions about IT that you probably don't know the answer to. And if you do, uh, they'll, they'll dive deeper into it to sort of prove you wrong. So again, it's this sort of thing about being a tech lead. And while you may be technically the security lead, for that particular project or whatever it is you're doing. You don't know everything about programming. You don't know everything about uh, virtualization or storage or you know, Active Directory. You, you don't know everything about everything. No one knows everything about everything. And being expected to know that is, it's hard. But um, yeah, a lot of people do sort of come at you with those sort of questions. All right, so the things that I, I do really enjoy about cybersecurity uh, the industry so I'll start off with the the most obvious and part of the reason I got into it which is the money the money is is really good um, standard contracting rates start from anywhere around five hundred dollars a day uh, Australian to uh, I've seen jobs come up that have been around thirteen hundred fourteen hundred dollars a day um, of course depending on experience and what the role is that you're going for uh, yeah, so definitely the money is is a huge plus. Um, the second thing that I really enjoy about cybersecurity is the if you manage to get into a job with a cybersecurity team, the team uh, culture, I guess is the right word, is it's fantastic. It's you know the people are great most of the time. And um, getting through problems together and figuring them out and, and just having that whole team aspect is it's fantastic. It's, and, and it's especially good in cybersecurity. If you can get into a team of like 20 people, mint, you are set. It, it's so good, it's so much fun. The third thing I like but also dislike is travel. I, I thoroughly enjoy traveling around and doing different stuff and being in different places to um, to do my job and it yeah it can get hard especially if you have a partner but the majority of the time it's pretty awesome you get to go to some really cool places um, for example I've been to Singapore uh, I've been to a couple of little islands the US all over Australia uh, all over and it it's been a wild ride it's really fun so yeah that's that's it uh, the last thing that I, I really enjoy about cybersecurity is the challenge. Uh, every day there's something different and you're going to be constantly learning and it, it's, it's great fun to, to be put in a situation where you don't really know what to do and you, you have to figure it out. Uh, and I, I find that really enjoyable um, getting through those sort of issues. So yeah, if, if, so if a challenging job is for you that pays well has a great team environment if it's available and uh, has the option to travel then um, yes yeah, cyber security is the the job for you it, it covers all of those things and um, it, it can be a really rewarding career so get on down and, and give it a try guys if you've enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe uh, leave me a message in the comments i i always reply you'll probably notice from my other videos and uh yeah check out some of those other ones there's, there's some really good ones there uh so yeah i'll leave them up on the top there have a look thanks